I've been cleaning up this old um, Lucas Dynamo uh, which came among the bits and pieces down there with this 350 uh, early, nine, it's actually a 1950 uh, 350 Royal Enfield bullet engine that I've been working on and I've uh, gone over the magneto and uh, dismantled that and cleaned it and checked it and lightly greased the bearings it's working very well actually um, so we're going to put it on the engine and uh, I think, I expect, I hope that it'll be okay. It's certainly worth trying because it's got a very, very strong spark on it, um, even when it's on the retarded setting. So I think it's probably going to be okay. Um, the dynamo is also in a bit of a state and covered in dirt and sawdust and the end cap was missing. Well, this is one I've borrowed off of one of mine, actually, um, but I've cleaned up the end of the uh, commutator and I've had the brushes out and cleaned them um, connected up to my end cap and I just thought I'd give it a go and see what I'd get out of it and sometimes I put them in the lathe and drive them and see if they'll light up the bulb but at the moment I've got no uh, bolt in the end of the uh, arm armature so my little socket and extension that I put into the chuck of the lathe can't drive it at the moment until I get a bolt sorted out so I've heard and I understand that it's also possible to motor a dynamo and uh, if you put power into it and it spins like a motor that, that also proves that it probably is okay so I've got this battery charger here We're on six volts I'm on number two of the four charge rate settings one is a trickle um, two is probably still a fairly mild charge rate and you've got three is a high charge four is a boost so let's just connect up here I've got the um, F and the D wires connected together going to one terminal of the battery charger and we're earthed through the vice and the soft jaws holding the dynamo uh, so here I'll put the other lead on and there we are the dynamo is motoring I wouldn't describe the bearings as entirely silent mind um, although it spins freely and smoothly by hand there's no roughness up to three I've lubricated the bearings and I'm going to run it for a little while and possibly lubricate them some more and see how things work out but at the very least I know that I've got a working dynamo and even on the trickle charge rate which is a very low voltage um, it's still running and in fact it's nice and quiet like that so it could even be possibly a bit of noise maybe through the brushes, I don't know. But I know that that dynamo will at least, when it's turned, be capable of producing a charge. So that's a good step forward. Um, and at the very worst, if it's got to have new bearings, well so be it. But uh, it'll be worth putting new bearings in if it does turn out to need them. Here's that dynamo again that I was motoring off the uh, battery charger earlier and I've since dismantled it completely and cleaned it all out inside and out and uh, cleaned out the bearings and repacked them with fresh grease and gone right through it with uh, clutch and brake cleaning solvent it's spotless inside now and we're spinning it at well, supposedly 2000 rpm there and that's a 12 volt bulb and that's got it lit about as brightly as a 12 volt battery would light it. So we've got a good charge coming out of that there. Let's see if it'll, um, the motor on my lathe is not too good at the moment actually. That's sort of uh, speeding up and down a little bit. I'll just try and change down to the uh, 1255 and see how bright the bulb is at that.
Right. 12.55. That would probably equate to uh, allowing for the uh, drive train from the crankshaft to the timing gears and up to the dynamo. That would probably relate to perhaps a little over tick over a fast idle perhaps. Um, and the 12 volt bulb is still lit quite dim. I think this is probably going to be good to go I think. It's all spotlessly clean in there now and um, hopefully it will put out enough oomph to charge a battery via a regulator or perhaps a 12 volt conversion even. Let's put it back up to 2000 if we can. take the um, earth off, let it excite itself again, and back up there we are. Because under low the dynamo can actually uh, stop giving output if it's, if it's allowed to turn slow enough and it won't uh, come back in unless there's a residual charge there to kick it off again. And while it's connected to a a lamp that's out, it can't pick up, can't build up a decent enough residual to kick off again. So to a point a dynamo actually relies on the battery even if it's flat. Well my wires come off the bulb now. But even just the tiniest fraction of a volt in a flat battery is enough make these kick off and charge. Just connect up again. There we are. Nice and bright. I think that dynamo could be put on top of the magneto and the whole uh, thing, the whole assembly put on the engine and a timing cover put on and um, considered ready to go.